I am Anil Kumar and here is another example on understanding behavior of the function near the oblique asymptote. The function given to us is h of x equals to x cubed plus x square minus 4 divided by x square minus 1. You can actually pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. As you can see, degree of numerator is one higher right so so we know degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator plus one so when that is the case what do we get we get an oblique asymptote Okay, so that is what is expected. Now, first we'll find what is this oblique asymptote, and then we will actually find the behavior of the function near uh, the end behavior. Rather, I should have said uh, I should not use. We say end behavior of the function. Okay, so let's begin by calculating uh, what is the oblique asymptote. So that you can get by doing division right so you have to divide the numerator by the denominator to get the equation of oblique asymptote now there are some missing terms here x square minus one so we'll put placeholders so we'll have x square plus zero x minus one in the numerator also we have missing terms we have x cube plus x square so a placeholder zero x and then we'll put minus 4 correct so we have to take care of the first term which is x cube multiplying by x there are three terms in divisor we'll take three terms so we'll put x here so we get x cube plus 0x minus x i mean minus <coughs> x divided by now you get x square here you get plus x minus 4 now it could go one time so we'll say plus 1 we get x square plus 0x minus 1 and when you take away you get x and minus 4 minus 1 is minus 3 now that could be written now h of x now can be written as equal to the quotient which is x plus 1 plus the remainder which is x minus 1 as you see when the divisor is of degree 2 the remainder could be of degree 1 or a constant divided by x square minus 1 correct now when we say end behavior let me write end behavior we have an oblique asymptote let me also sketch uh, this oblique asymptote so we'll make a sketch uh, here okay. so it's just an approximate sketch for us we are only concerned about the oblique asymptote so I'll concentrate there x plus 1 is the equation so if 1 is the y-intercept let's say this is my oblique asymptote right x plus 1 okay <coughs> now to check the behavior we should say end behavior if x is approaching positive infinity that means a large value in that case x plus 1 plus x minus 3 over x square since x square is in the denominator this value is very small very small and that's why we have an asymptote it approaches x plus 1 but it is not quite there what we also observe is if x is positively large in that case x minus 3 over x square minus 1 is greater than 0 it is also positive right and therefore h of x is greater than x plus 1 and we can say when x approaches positive infinity h of x approaches let me use a single this approaches asymptote x plus 1 oblique asymptote 
from above since this is greater from let me write in red from above so that is the critical thing that means kind of like this do you see that from above so let us consider what happens when x approaches let me write down here x approaches negative infinity if x is very large negative denominator is positive right however the numerator will be negative and therefore x minus 3 over x square minus 1 is going to be less than 0. Since this value is less than 0, we are taking away something from x plus 1, right? So we are taking away something, that means the value is going to be smaller, right? Since this is negative, numerator is negative, denominator is going to be positive, right? So we can say that h of x is approaching from below right since that is negative right this is negative so we'll take away something from the line and therefore it will be approaching from below right so that is the kind of relation which we will have with the function and the asymptote i hope that is well taken feel free to post your comments and suggestions thank you and all the best